bruh. Look at this dude. But before we get started with this video and get right into it, I'm doing a huge giveaway on my YouTube channel. I'm doing a PS4, Xbox One, Samsung Galaxy giveaway. I got about 10,000 in my fucking warehouse down in Pompano. I got about 10,000. I got about 10,000. All you have to do is leave a like. For each person that leaves a like, I'll be giving a shit ton of these to you guys. <laughs> Hello Blazers, no fuck is here, how are you guys doing today? Welcome to a brand new video and today's video guys is going to be fucking huge. It's going to be a banger. I've been working on this one for a few days and this video is going to be pretty huge and it's probably going to cause a lot of YouTube drama. So first of all, if you do support my side in this whole situation, if you do support me, make sure to give this video a like, okay? Because I need it, okay? And yes, I know that I'm asking for likes before the video even fucking starts, right? But that's only because today guys, we're going to be looking at a person who does the exact same thing. Of course, guys, you already know, today we're going to be talking about the god, the savior, and possibly uh, one of the worst YouTubers I've ever seen on this fucking website, Lispy Jimmy. So, who the hell is Les Pajemi? Well, I've made a video on this guy in the past, and if you're an active subscriber of mine, if you're an active follower of mine, you should know who this guy is. If you don't, here's a little summary. Les Pajemi is a GTA 5 YouTuber, and honestly, that kinda says it all. It's pretty much common knowledge now that GTA 5 YouTubers is the biggest tumor of a community on this entire website. It it's completely cancerous, and why is because GTA 5, I mean, it's fucking dead. Nobody actually gives a fuck about GTA 5 anymore, and all of these channels like Les Pajimi, Sir Nando, whatever the fuck, right? All of these channels who started out and got popular by making GTA 5 glitch, money glitch videos or whatever, now that GTA 5 doesn't have any glitches and that the topic is not as popular anymore, their channels are fucking dying and they're trying their best to squeeze out every single last penny and every single last dollar from the remnants of the very, very low relevancy they ever had on this website. And Les Pajimi is perhaps the absolute worst out of all of them. Now, I know I've already made a video on Lispa Jimmy, obviously, but I'm making this second one because he's done something recently that uh, kind of pissed me off. I'm going to go over all of that in this video a bit later, but for now, let's just look at the deadly sins of Lispa Jimmy. First point is, of course, the common trait between all of the amazing GTA 5 YouTubers out there. Lispa Jimmy is known for his uh, excessive clickbait. Excessive is to say the least. It is absolutely incredible how much this guy clickbaits. I mean, it's it's actual insanity. Lispa Jimmy is an author of such great videos as uh, GTA 6 Grand Theft Auto 6 Official Release Date Timeline. Uh, GTA 6 Grand Theft Auto 6 Incredible Gameplay GTA 6 GTA 6 Grand Theft Auto 6 Release Date Location and more Alright, alright, enough of that shit, okay? He's basically making G a GTA 6 misleading video that has absolutely no information about GTA 6 whatsoever in it. I mean, why would it if Rockstar Games never says anything about their upcoming games? He basically makes these shitty videos on a weekly fucking basis to make money off of stupid children who are stupid enough to search GTA 6 in the YouTube, expecting something genuine genuine and legit to come up. For example, once again, the video that I used in my previous one, GTA 6 Grand Theft Auto 6 Incredible Graphics, it's literally a video that is 1 second over 10 minutes in its length, which is obvious, you know, to get that YouTube revenue. I'm a sinner of this as well, right, because I make videos that are over 10 minutes long, but I've never seen anybody on this fucking website be this close to the 10 minute mark. I mean, this guy just didn't even fucking try. 10 minutes and 1 seconds, I mean, it's like he's not even trying to cover up this shit. Oh yeah, how could I forget by the way GTA 6 incredible graphics 6.3 million fucking views and guess what the video is he's basically just playing GTA 5 right and then shows a clip of a GTA 5 graphics mod for PC and says I'm gonna give you guys kind of a demonstration and kind of a little bit of a concept of what to expect graphic wise for GTA 6 this is GTA 5 but with this mod it looks absolutely gorgeous so yeah this is how this Jimmy puts food on his table he makes a video that's titled GTA 6 fucking gameplay, right? And then just shows a video of some fucking NB graphics mod for GTA 5 and says, oh my god, guys, this is absolutely insane. This is absolutely crazy. And that's fucking it. Gets 6.3 million views, makes over six fucking thousand dollars of this garbage, complete fucking garbage video. And uh, he's happy with himself. Like he can actually live with himself after making this shit. 
How? I don't know. This is literally the most shittiest clickbait channel and the most misleading channel on the entire scape of YouTube that I've ever fucking seen. Alright, so now that we know who Liz P. Jimmy is, uh, it's time to actually talk about what actually made me want to make this video and what actually pissed me the fuck off. Obviously, Liz P. Jimmy makes very, very cancerous, misleading, and clickbaity content. Obviously, when a person finds his video and clicks on a video titled GTA 6 gameplay, he won't fucking get GTA 6 gameplay. So, what that person would do is click a dislike on his video. But Liz P. Jimmy, Liz P. Jimmy has got it covered because he begs for likes from his subscribers. He's not even fucking asking for them, he's begging for them. Every single fucking video, he does it. Let's go for this video, not 5 likes, not 7 likes, not 10! But 25,000 likes, biatch! It basically comes to the point of, like if you breathe, lol. And it's obvious why he does it, you know, because people are gonna come in and dislike his videos to shit because they, they're terrible, they're cancer, right? So he's asking for people to like his videos, not that he cares that much. When a person clicks on the video, right, they look at the like-dislike ratio. And when you click on a video that's titled fucking GTA 6 gameplay, right, you'd expect to see some bullshit. So if you just look at the dislike ratio, if if it's really bad, if there's, if there's more dislikes than likes, you're probably gonna just click off the video, right? So what Lispy Jimmy is doing here is that he's begging people to like his video so that when another person comes in and watches his video, they don't click off the video instantly because they see the horrible dislike ratio. So it makes sense. For example, in that video with 6 million views, uh, the dislike ratio is kind of like 40% dislikes, which is still pretty bad, but it doesn't look as bad if it was like 80% dislikes and 20% likes. That would be the case if Lispy Jimmy didn't beg his subscribers to like the video. So here we actually come to the second point which actually made me want to make this video. You see, Lispy Jimmy got called out a lot of times for, you know, basically like begging. A lot of people called him out saying, dude, the way you beg for likes and shit, dude, is just absolutely embarrassing, right? And people were calling him out. And guess what? Lispy Jimmy is a smart one. Lispy Jimmy is a smart ass because he found another way to do it. Guess what it is? Faking a fucking giveaway. I'm doing a huge giveaway on my YouTube channel. I'm doing a PS4, Xbox One, Samsung Galaxy giveaway. I got about 10,000 in my fucking warehouse down in Pompano. For each person that leaves a like, I'll be giving a shit ton of these to you guys. So I'm doing a huge giveaway on this channel. Huge giveaway, okay? I got about 10,000 in total PS4s, Xbox Ones, and Samsung Galaxy S5s. All you have to do is leave one like on this video. Yes, for a few videos in in a row, he has been saying this shit, right? Uh, guys, if you slap a like on this fucking video, I'm doing a huge fucking giveaway. I'm giving away fucking 10 million PS4s, 10 quazillion fucking Xboxes, and 10 quintillion planets in no man's sky. <laughs> I don't fucking know, okay? And guess what? This dumbass has got over 74,000 likes on one of the videos. Yeah, I quit, guys. I, I fucking quit, honestly. Like, it, it, it's just pointless. So, you know, this is obviously bullshit, okay? Because in order to make a giveaway, you, you can't see stats of who likes your video on YouTube, obviously, right? So, this shit can't work, first of all. And second of all, it, there's no fucking possibility that Liz Pajimi, this fucking retard, has 10,000 fucking Samsung Galaxy S7s in his backyard. So I called out Liz Pajimi on Twitter for it, and guess what Liz Pajimi's response was? Here it is. In the video, I was obviously being sarcastic, dude. Who the fuck actually has 10k Samsung Galaxies? Then he says, just making fun of the fact YouTubers do giveaways for likes. If that's what you mean, then yeah. Then I responded with, you can't make the same sarcastic joke for five fucking videos in a row, Jimmy. People who watch you think it's real. And Jimmy responds with, dude, it's not always the same. The other day, I told my fans I've got 10k copies of GTA 6 in the secret warehouse. LOL! So yeah, it's pretty much obvious what Jimmy is trying to do here. He's basically begging for likes from his subscribers in a different way. He's begging for a huge amount of likes. He's getting a huge amount of likes on his videos because his subscribers actually do believe that he's doing the giveaway. This is the problem because his subscribers are literally fucking 9 years old and they actually believe that this shit that he's saying is true. But Jimmy is playing the card that says, Oh, it's just a satire, bro. And basically he DM'd me and said, Oh man, it's like Leafy. You know Leafy always says in the end of his video stuff like, Like this video, I'm gonna gonna give you one million dollars. Jimmy is basically comparing himself doing this shit to Leafy saying I'm gonna give you a fucking bicycle if you like this video. Uh, no Jimmy. 
just fucking no. There's a complete fucking huge difference between what you're doing and what Leafy is doing, okay? Because Leafy just says at the end of the fucking video as an obvious sarcastic joke. He says something like, like this fucking video and I'm gonna send you a cup of fucking tea. That's what he does. You, Jimmy, what you do, you hype it up for fucking five videos. If this is a joke, it was not said in one video. It was, it was said multiple fucking times in different videos, right? And you say it at the very beginning and you hype it up so fucking hard. Jimmy, this is not how you fucking do satire, okay? And if you say for five videos in a fucking row, Hey guys, I'm doing a huge giveaway on my YouTube channel. Nobody would fucking think it's a joke. Jimmy, don't think I'm fucking dumb. I know what you're doing and I know that you clearly know how to manipulate and how to squeeze out every last fucking dollar and every single last penny from your stupid ass nine-year-old fanboys. This is, this is just sad. Well, guess what? Lispa Jimmy also has made an apology for this whole thing. He basically made a video saying, uh, yes, guys, this whole giveaway thing was fucking fake, and I was like, uh, I was misleading you guys. And you know, when the video is just like, it's completely fucking ironic. It's just a bad video. There's literally nothing to discuss here. Hey, guys, I'm doing a giveaway. It's a legit giveaway. No, for real, legit. I definitely have a warehouse in Pompano. You're here to do a public apology, okay? Okay, I'm here to do a public apology. I'm sorry. I did not realize that everyone thought this was real. I can't be the only one who wants to fucking push his face into a wall right now, right? He's literally fucking copying the A33 fucking uh, chin angle for like 30 seconds in the video and then slaps his sister's ass. Legit, listen guys, I have this right here, you feel me? I don't need that. I mean, I understand that you want to do a little bit of a humble brag here, Jamie, but myself happening to have a girlfriend, uh, I would not show my girlfriend's ass to the whole the internet for YouTube views, but if that's your choice, it's fine. But I feel like there was no need to include this in a fucking apology video, Jimmy. And his fucking quote-unquote apology video is titled GT GTA 6 giveaway, like, Jimmy, fucking hell, mate, you, you just really don't want me to like you, do you? Alright, now before I address this next part of the video, I wanna just say real quick that I do not know if this is 100% true, okay? I'm not trying to say that this is 100% true, I'm not trying to say that I have all the proof that there is needed to, you know, to say this, but I do believe that this is real, and there's a lot of evidence, I think, that kind of proves this shit. Basically, the thing is, is that I personally believe that Lispy Jimmy is using bots, not on YouTube, I haven't suspected how he could be using bots on YouTube, but on Twitter, yes, I'm pretty sure that he's using bots on Twitter, and I have a couple of things that make me believe that this is true. So first of all, me and Lispy Jimmy, when we had a Twitter argument, he was using the, the famous tactic of putting the dots or putting some text before, before my Twitter handle. That basically gives you more likes on Twitter because every single one of your subscribers can see the tweet, not as just a reply, but as a tweet on a timeline, and that means that you get more Twitter likes, therefore you won the fucking argument, right? Because if you have more likes on the internet, that clearly means that you're in the right, right? But the thing is that I believe that he bots his likes and retweets on Twitter. Yes, I, I, it sounds really fucking sad. I mean, you, you gotta be like literally the saddest fucking person in this entire world to actually bot Twitter likes and retweets in order to win arguments on Twitter, but uh, I think that's the case here, and it's it's actually really, really depressing. Just look at this screenshot right here, okay? This tweet is literally two fucking days old, okay? Because we had that argument on Twitter two days old, okay? And look at the amount of retweets and likes he's getting on those tweets, okay? Specifically his tweets, and it's literally the same people liking every single tweet. Look at this. It's literally the same fucking people. So, I, you know, I was expecting this. I was like, where the fuck are people even coming in here? Because it's been literally two days since that argument, right? It shouldn't be getting much traction. So I went over to a bunch of these accounts, and they all look like fucking bots. For example, look at this shit. Most of the people who favorite and retweet his tweets literally have this fucking egg avatars on Twitter. He literally has this fucking huge egg army that fucking likes and retweets every single one of his tweets. Look at this shit. Jack. At JackJackBird42. Only fucking activity on his entire profile is just liking and retweeting Lisp Jimmy. Clash of Clans with Alex at clans with. All the fucking activity is literally just retweeting Lispa Jimmy and just liking Lispa Jimmy's tweets. This account is fucking incredible. GJJ <laughs> GayJJK at GJJ <laughs> fucking hell. 
the same exact shit with this one, only retweeting Lisp and Jimmy's tweets and only liking Lisp and Jimmy's tweets. No other fucking activity at all. Does this shit seem suspicious to you? Clearly does seem suspicious to me. Well then, Lisp and Jimmy had a fucking breakdown on Twitter because he was calling me out, he was saying how I am making false claims and I'm literally the next Keemstar and I'm slandering him. Yes, I'm slandering him because I'm saying that he's bots in his fucking accounts. Uh, as I said, once again, not 100% proof, but what I've, what I've seen so far it kind of convinces me that this guy uses bots and it's just sad, it's just fucking sad. Another kind of proof that we can get is that there's this website uh, called Twitter Audit and what this website does, it kind of uh, shows how many fake followers you have. It basically, on some kind of a sort of algorithm, determines which accounts are not fake and which are, you know, fake and uh, it shows you a statistic of how many uh, fake and real accounts and followers uh, a certain, tw uh, you know, Twitter user has. So for example, myself, it says that I have 6,000 fake followers, which is really weird because I can assure you that I've never fucking botted anyone on Twitter, which proves that obviously this kind of website cannot be 100% accurate. On the other hand, Lisp Jimmy has a rating of 57%. It says that he has 83,000 real followers and 62,000 fake followers. And honestly, this is pretty fucking believable. Once again, Lisp Jimmy was DMing me, saying that he would never do such things, that he would never bot any followers or subscribers or something like that. But you know, how can I take a word from a person who literally makes fucking GTA 6 gameplay misleading videos, you know? If your Metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. And motherfucker, I don't trust you. <laughs> So, in conclusion, the main problem I always had with Lisp Jimmy is that he's fake as shit, okay? In the, in the sense that it's obvious that his channel is literally a fucking quick cash grab that he's using to squeeze out every last penny from stupidity of nine year olds, okay? It's fucking obvious. But what I hated about Lisp Jimmy, okay, is that he, he could never admit it. He was always like, oh, I am actually proud of my channel, dude. I'm actually very proud and put a lot of effort into my videos, huh? I would literally love this guy to death, okay? If he literally just came to me in DMs and said, motherfucker, I, I know that my channel is complete cancer, I know that my channel is cancer, I know that my videos are completely fucking horrible and utter shit, but motherfucker, I'm rich. And you know what, if you said that to me, I'll be like, hell yeah dude, fucking hell yeah, okay? But the sad thing is that he could never admit that. Oh, w wait, wait, did he? I'm not here to make 110% great content. My content is AIDS, and I believe that like I believe in Allah. Alright guys. I think my date for today is done, okay? This motherfucker has admitted that he hates his fucking channel. Good thing. Good! If he actually tries to fucking defend his channel, and if he actually tries to defend himself after this video that I'm making, well, he's a fucking hypocrite. There we go, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for this video, okay? Hey guys, on a serious note, I'm very, very sorry for this very long rant. This is honestly probably the longest commentary video that I've ever made in my entire life, but it had to be done, okay? I was just pissed at this guy. I was just pissed at this guy so much, so I just had to do this. But yeah, guys, thank you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you actually managed to watch it to until the very end, I really, really appreciate the fuck out of you if you d did watch it to the end and yeah thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end make sure you just let them all fucking like so i know okay <laughs> and uh, also making a huge you on my channel they're very very legit but anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one peace